we talked about this when we were in Miami. We were going back and forth from a defensive yeah. perspective, offensive perspective of the whole push off thing. Yeah. I feel like uh, the Saints got slighted a little bit. Their own rule they created the year before. What, uh, yeah, that's, what, that's what is your I opinion? Have to, I have to disagree with you because the rule was put in for them. So, like, for the right. NFL to have a chance to vindicate, like, hey, we put this rule in for you. It's a scoring play. So you don't even have to challenge it. We're going to review it anyways, and we're going to take the time. We're going to look at it, and they still couldn't overrule it. So that's where I know it's just football. Like, yeah, you know, was I touching him? Absolutely. Was he grabbing me? Absolutely. But that's that's football, and especially down in the red zone. Like, you know, guys are hand fighting all the time. And I've explained it a couple of times, the difference between, like, if we would have been close together and I would have pushed him away from me, that's – and it's what George Kittle did in the Super Bowl. He was running right next to that guy and then extended the arm. If he would have just held him at arm's distance away, that's what you're going to get away with at every time because your arm's already extended. Then you just – you basically, like, remove your arm from him and make the catch. If you do the opposite, if you create the separation instead of just keep the separation, they're going to call it every time because that's what they're looking for is the extension. And, right. for instance, on that play – we were going back and forth. He was grabbing me, and it was almost like I know the ball's coming. You know, it was cover zero, quarterback draw. The only outlet for us was to throw the fade on the backside. So I knew the ball was coming right away. And I was almost like, yeah, you can grab me like that. I would much rather have a smaller guy create contact, try to grab me because they're way faster than I am, way more athletic. If they give me some space, they can close the ground, you know, in a split second. So once he started grabbing me, I was like, okay, I'll just let you grab me. I'll keep you at bay, and then I'll make a play on the ball. So uh, that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it, uh, you know, and, and it wasn't called, so therefore it was not offensive pass interference. After review, I'm too. Glad, I'm with I'm the boy, I Will. I out. hate to do it to you. I know you're my boy, but I feel like he's right. Oh, you know, no. I just, I'm, I, just, I'm, I, just, I just feel like, for, like if, if there was an opportunity to overrule a call – a game-winning touchdown in New Orleans that was where it. the rule was created, that was it. Yeah. And no, I'm just glad I, I'm glad I got you fired up. I was actually, I was actually si- excited for the old Kirk on that one because he wins a playoff game. Everybody's yeah. shaming my man all the time about the big game. So I knew that one was huge for the, the boys. So. The dime that he dropped to get us down inside the five-yard line was one of the best throws I've ever seen. Play action. Cousins. Thielen. He's got it. Inside. I mean, just absolutely absurd. Uh, and he played huge for us all year. I'd say it every time people ask, like, I literally just got done doing an interview before I hopped on here with you guys. And they're like, what does Kirk Cousins have to do to take you guys to the next level? Right. And I was like, just do what he did all year last year. And, uh, you know, maybe one of the other 10 guys on offense can step up and play better. And, you know, just the quarterback's not going to go win games for you. There's right. 10 other guys on the field. So he does. He always gets a bad rap. But when you make that kind of money and you sign those deals, they're, they're always going to point fingers at the quarterback. They get way too much sure. credit when we win, and they get way too much blame when we lose. 